In this video, we'll be going over tool groups. Now, tool groups may be used to create a custom drop-down button, such as the existing mouse tools one here, in organizing existing and custom tools. Now, this is a great way to optimize the available space on your toolbar if you're finding that it's too cluttered or if it makes more sense to group uh, some of the tools, then the custom tool groups is a great way in doing that. So we can click on configure, preferences, we click on toolbar and then tool groups. We then click on the plus icon. We can then designate a name for our custom tool group. I'm going to call it my tools. And then from the available actions here, you can select the tools that you would like in your custom tool group. So I'm going to select a few here. We'll select arrow. I will select uh, my own custom tool that I created before, which is the blue line, the box, let's see, a channel, and then maybe one more. Here, let's select the fork. We'll put the fork, we'll click OK, we'll click Apply. So now that we have our custom tool group listed, we need to set it to an existing toolbar. So in this case, I'm going to select the top toolbar. And you'll see that the custom tool group is now listed in the available actions. So if I go down, here we have my tools. And now I will select where I would like to place them within the toolbar. So what I will do is I will place them right beside my blue line that I created before. We'll click Apply, click OK. Now you'll notice that the tool group is now listed in the toolbar and the icon that's chosen for that would be the first icon in your list. So depending what tool you have listed first, then that becomes the icon for the button. Okay, so now we have all those available tools selected and our own little custom tool group here allowing for easy access and optimizing space. Okay, so that's it for this video and we'll see you in the next.